Okay, if you could just tell me, like, what your involvement is, what your name is. Uh, my name is Amir Wadan. Uh, my involvement here is I'm a mediator and I'm also a uh, coordinator for just the camp in general. Uh, basically, I just make sure everything is smooth, that there's no problems, if there is any problems, and I kind of go in from a third person's perspective and try to stay at a neutral stance and uh, resolve the issue. Right. Um, how long have you been here? I've been here since day one. Which was when? Uh, October 6th, I think. Okay, it's the first I've ever actually heard of it. I'm not I'm not a big TV watcher, but I, oh, yeah. I'm around the university, and there's really, I mean, I would expect, like, a lot of media out here. And y'all, are y'all connected with the Wall Street uh, thing that has, yeah, like, a branch of that? Definitely. Um, I mean, those are all just sister occupations, you know. Um, right. Once the movement started, you know, you just have... Uh, <laughs> Camp springing up all over the country. Last time I checked, there was over 1,200 cities. Okay. Um, wow. Over 80 countries. Um, last time I checked, there was over six million claimed occupiers on the internet. How many? Six million. Six million. Wow. Million. So, um, that was like um, two weeks in, three weeks into the yeah. movement. Yeah. So I know if you can you follow me over here. I've noticed this uh, sign. <laughs> Uh, kind of, I mean, all the different occupations and, and people that are involved and represented here. Um, what What's your background? I mean, just I'm curious. Uh, my background, I teach martial arts. I teach, I teach self-defense to uh, military personnel, to uh, police officers. Yeah, is my bag okay sitting there? As well as okay, civilians. Yeah. So, okay, so. and uh, are you from Dallas or are you coming yeah, in from somewhere else? Yeah, I was I was raised here. I wasn't born here, but I, I was I've been here since I was. Okay, and what's your what's your ethnic background? My ethnic background, I'm Arab American. Okay. I was born in Cleveland. So. And uh, where is your most of your family? Uh, Arab could be a number of nations. What nation? Uh, Palestine. Palestine. Yeah. Okay. Do you do you care to comment on the the Gaza Strip dispute? You know enough to talk intelligently about that between yeah, Israel and Palestine. Sure. Um, basically, I mean, as far as I know, um, recent uh, events over there have been uh, cutting off of humanitarian supplies. Do you not want to? Do you not want to be on? Camp? Including uh, food, okay. medical, um, electricity has also been cut off. Um, just humanitarian aid in general has just been cut off over there. From Palestine? Yeah, Israel from, cutting? Yeah, okay. they've actually walled off people, you know, there's um, two walled off sections, I believe, in the, in the territory over there. Okay. And they have mil they have uh, millions of people cramped in the small space, you know, and, and the, uh, the wall is two times thicker than the Berlin Wall, as well as two times the, the height, and... You know, it just makes you wonder, like, what? Why are they doing that? Why hasn't anybody really stepped in and said anything about it? You know, right? There's a lot of atrocities happening all around the world, and that's just one of many. But you know, hopefully, you know, this Occupy movement in general is just to shed some light on a lot of the problems and issues that we've been dealing with. You know throughout the world, not just in America, you know. We do have a lot of domestic problems as well, and that just spring, you know, th that just sprouts from a deeper or a global problem, you know. Right, right. Do you know anything about, there were some arrests, I think, recently. I talked to a guy named Adam. Do you know who I'm talking, he wears like yeah, a red Adam, bandana? Adam Pete. Adam Pete, okay. I'm gonna be doing a, a Facebook interview with him probably tomorrow or the next day. I met him over at El Centro. That's the first I'd heard about this uh, occupation. Yeah. yeah, and so what? What happened? And your what was what was the reason? As far and as, as, I far know, as you there know, there was a lot of antagonizing um, from the Dallas uh, Police Department that did prompt a lot of people into uh, action. Uh huh. Now um, there was also a lot of antagonizing from our side as well. Maybe just it's a, just a dialogue that happens between right. occupiers and right. any opposing force. Absolutely. And yeah, do you know what happened. bank it was in front of? I heard Bank of America, but I've also heard yeah. Chase. No, it was Bank of America. Okay. Do you know anything about the guy uh, Kyle sitting at the front with the dark sunglasses? Do you know who I'm talking? He's like right at the point, like across the. He claims he's with the CIA, but I, I wonder. Oh, that Kyle? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think you should pay much attention to that. Okay, that's what Adam told me. He said he's maybe a little off. Yeah, yeah. you shouldn't pay much attention okay. to anything. So. Appreciate it.